Hey everyone, Jason Weckerly here. Today, I'm going to show you guys what I use for wintertime pike fishing, or if I'm ever using any sort of leader for pike when I'm fishing in moderately clear water, murky water, crystal clear water. And what I like to use is a material called fluorocarbon. It's nothing new, it's been on the market for years now. But the reason why I like to use fluorocarbon is because it's abrasion resistant against the teeth, against snags, sharp objects on the bottom of the lake, but especially against the teeth of northern pike and muskies. And the type of fluorocarbon I like to use is by a company called Seeger. I've done really well using Seeger. I've done very well using Trilene 100% fluorocarbon. Not all fluorocarbons are created equal. I've used some bad fluorocarbon that broke really easy, cut really easy, dried out in the sun really easily for some reason. But the Seeger Invisex, as well as the Abraxex, Abrazex, I don't know how to say that, but those two fluorocarbons are decent, or very good, I should say. I especially like this Invisex because I feel like it's a little bit more invisible underwater, which is also the benefit of using fluorocarbon. It's very invisible underwater compared to mono or steel liters or titanium liters, but if I'm fishing a crystal clear body of water, like tap water clear, I go with a 25 pound test fluorocarbon liter, but my standard pike setup is about 40 pound test. And the reason why I like to use 40 pound compared to 25 pound is because you want to get away with as much poundage as you can obviously i mean the heavier the line that you can get away with the better you lose less fish get less bite offs but in crystal clear water fish even pike can be very picky and you'll cost yourself a lot of bites if you're not using 25 pound compared to 40 pound when you're fishing some of the really clear lakes especially around here in southern wisconsin we have all these crystal clear lakes in Waukesha County. We have crystal clear lakes like Lake Geneva, Big Green Lake. I mean, even Madison can get very clear during the winter time, like the Madison chain of lakes. But I like to go with the 25 pound for those type of bodies of water. But if you're dealing with any murkiness, you're dealing with moderately clear, or if you're just catching like hammer handle, small pike they don't seem to care as much but big northern pike i've noticed get a little bit more finicky and the 25 pound seeger is going to work out a lot better for you some guys just go with 25 pound but i like to bump up to 40 sometimes but what i do with this fluorocarbon line i take off about a three foot section make your leaders about two three feet long have yourself a little nail clipper with you and I like to use size 4 size 2 size 6 treble hooks depending on the size of my shiner my sucker or my dead bait but I just use a knot called the canoe man knot and I found this on thenetsbite.com a long time ago, and it's been working for me. Really good for musky leaders when I'm casting for muskies. Works good for any sort of fluorocarbon, 15 pound test or over I've noticed. But the reason why I use this knot is because if you try to use a polymer knot, or like an improved clinch knot, or try lean knot, whatever, it tends to not work very well sometimes it even breaks really easy but i've been using this canoe man knot for years and it's just absolutely strong i've never had one fail on me 
and I like to use it like I said for 15 pound test or more all the way up to 130 pound test I've been able to tie this knot it's a very simple knot you can look it up online but I'll show it to you real quick you just take your line there's the end of it you make one loop two loops so kind of like Mickey Mouse ears you put the left loop through that loop so you got this put your hook on the tag end and you want to put the tag end through the back loop so the left loop originally if well left for me right for you and this is kind of a loop knot takes a little bit getting used to tying but I like to trim about an inch off of it and then just for reassurance I take a lighter and I burn that tag end so it just kind of balls up a little bit just in case the knot were to slip which I've never had happen before but this is a loop knot I don't know if you guys can see that right now but the reason why I like this knot as well is because it's a loop knot so if you have a shiner or a sucker on there thick fluorocarbon tends to or even monofilament tends to not let the metal swim very freely but with a loop that hook dangles all around the shiner can kick the sucker can kick the panfish whatever you're using for bait but that's just a size 4 hook right there and then I just take a little ball bearing swivel just a tiny little swivel you can use whatever size swivel you like it doesn't really matter but just do the canoe man knot again and again this is 25 pound test right through there and there we go again trim the end a little bit and then use a lighter you don't have to use a lighter but I just do it for reassurance but this is an excellent way or an excellent way to pike fish and if you're ever sitting at home make yourself up a bunch of these leaders before you're out on the water so you're not wasting time sorry I just uh, put my sh my sock down there but here we go we got the hook right here we got the swivel on this end and what I like to do is take a styrofoam tube you can buy these at the hardware store you can see a bunch of these hooks just on there and my leaders stick that on like that and I take little paper clips and I cut them in half so that it's just kind of a kind of like a letter U or a V wrap these leaders around the tube like this you can just buy these little styrofoam tubes or you can use swimming pool noodles it's an excellent way to keep your leaders organized and clutter free and take that little broken in half paper clip shove it right through the swivel and right into the styrofoam just like that push it down you got yourself a nice little leader holder for all your pike leaders walleye leaders that's how i make a leader for northern pike that was the canoe man knot 25 pound test seeger and visax you can use seeger trialing fluorocarbon i mean there's a bunch of different fluorocarbons those are the two i like to use mainly and this is a good tip if you guys are pike fishermen this is a good tip if you guys 
are winter fishermen, open water fishermen, and I hope you guys put this to use and make yourself a bunch of leaders. I'm going to shut up now. If you guys liked this video, felt you learned a thing or two, subscribe to my page, hit the like button. I'll be taking you guys out on my fishing adventures, teaching you guys what I know is working, teaching you guys what I learned along the way, and if it works for me, it's going to work for you. So use this tip and you won't be unhappy. Good luck fishing, stay safe on the ice, stay safe on the open water this year, and take care.